Nice work, sir. The payoff from Redstone really got us back on our feet. Why is that Tosh guy bored? He wanted to talk to you in person, sir. Something about conducting more business ventures together. You do any digging on him? Of course. And he's no pirate. Rumor has it he's a renegade ghost. And until he vanished, he was one of the Dominion's top assassins. Now Manx hates him almost as much as he hates you. Well, I like this guy already. Just the same. We'd best keep an eye on him. Yes, sir. Hello everybody and welcome to the next video of my StarCraft 2 Brutal Water Guide. As usual, we are going to be starting out on the Hyperion. We're going to be checking out what we can get from the lab that we just unlocked, as well as the uh, armory and the mercenaries that Hill has for us. Uh, speaking of that, we are going to be clicking on the uh, mercenaries and we are going to be getting those hammer securities because they're going to be very useful for what we're going to be doing in this mission. Now heading back over to the armory, we are going to... Uh, see if we can grab anything in here. We are we can't get these uh, stabilizer med packs yet uh, But we are going to be getting those very very soon. I think that's the next upgrade that we get uh, But for now we are just going to deal with the neo steel bunker and we are going to be heading over to the lab But I haven't done the cutscene yet. So here it is for you guys uh, heading over now Commander the alien artifact is all secure in the lab sir, you know seeing it Got me to thinking about my special projects. Whoa, slow down, Stedman. What do you mean, projects? Are you doing some kind of research down here? Yeah, well, you know, not yet, sir. I still need some additional specimens to get things going. Once I get those, we can make some big improvements to our weapon systems and tactics. Well, I'm all for that. What do you need? All kinds of things. I've entered the details into our database. If you run into something on a mission that we need, you'll be notified automatically. Just try not to blow up the ship. Okay, Stedman? Alright guys, now that we have access to the research console, we are going to be checking out what upgrades we are able to get. Um, for both the initial Zerg and Protoss research, it, it's really up to you on what you want. Uh, the Strike Turret's pretty cool. The uh, Fortify Bunker is really cool. Uh, in this run though, I decided to opt in for the Fortify Bunker because... The 150 life is absolutely amazing, um, and that's going to be much more useful in the long run. Now, we are going to be doing Welcome to the Jungle in this, so click on Bell Shear, hit that launch button, and I will see you guys planet side. Here we go. Much prettier than Redstone, yeah? I don't much like fighting Protoss if I can avoid it. Not just any old Protoss. Fanatics call the Tal Darim. They believe the Tarazin is sacred, a gift from the Zelnaga. If these Tal Darim bring in their air power, they're gonna hammer us. Swan, get the Goliath schematics loaded at the factory. If their anti air missiles are still any good, we might just pull this off. All right, cowboy, I'll get the Goliath schematics loaded so we can build more. How do we get to the Tarazin? See those altars? Taldari Mystic set him up to collect the Tarazin. We just need to grab it. Well, our SCVs will be able to haul the Tarazin. We just gotta keep them protected. With any luck, we can pick up what we need before the Taldarim find us. All right, let's get to it. All right, everybody, welcome to the jungle. Let's get right to it. We're going to queue up a few SCVs inside of our command center. We're going to add a reactor to the barracks. And then we're just going to be spending the early part of this mission just kind of setting up our base however you like it. Adding those uh, control groups, making sure that we're doing that. And uh, just sort of getting that, that saturation going. We, we don't start out with very many SCVs, but uh, we are going to begin a supply depot a little earlier than usual. Um... This just helps us uh, focus on getting those uh, marines and medics out without having to worry about getting supply blocked. And that's kind of what you should get into the habit of doing is making sure that you, um, it, you, you should be making sure that you get into the habit of making sure that you have enough uh, clearance between uh, free supply. You do not want to get supply blocked. It's good habit, good macro to just be ahead of that, uh, to be ahead of your production in terms of supply. 
Now the strategy for this mission, it's uh, fairly simple, it's Marina Medic. Um, if you want to, you could use the Goliaths and just kind of amass Goliaths, but for me it just seemed a, uh, a better strategy to go Marina Medic, and you'll have plenty more uh, Marines and Medics to... and they're just going to be much much better for, for this mission. They're, they're faster, they can do everything, and especially considering the achievements that we have to do for this mission, and the first one is that we can't lose an SCV when we go send it out to go harvest the Terrazine. Uh, that is um, not necessarily the only condition that you can uh, not get the achievement. So, for example, uh, you can't have a single SCV, even in your mineral line, one that's not going after the Terrazine, they can't also get killed. Otherwise, you will have to restart the mission if that's your main focus on getting is getting that achievement. Now, the other achievement is to prevent the Protoss from uh, sealing off a Terrazine Altar. To me, that one's a little easier, uh, simply because your Marines have Stim, they have Combat Shield, and they're going to be able to easily get from point A to point B. Um, and, and all you have to do is to kill the probe. If you can kill the probe, you're good to go. Now, as you see here, this little piece of dialogue, it's about three minutes into the mission and right after this dialogue finishes you will uh, get attacked by some stalkers and then you're going to see the first uh, Terrazine uh, canister getting sealed off by the Protoss and it's going to be the first one right next to your base on the left. Alright, so we're going to get those. Got some stalkers and some zealots. We're going to micro that guy away and then we are going to get ready for another uh, we are going to get ready for the Terrazine to be sealed off. Making sure that we are saturating even our refineries to make sure that we can get some Vesfine going. There's that first attack that I'm talking about. Going in on that uh, Terrazine altar right there on the left. The order in which that they seal off the Terrazine altars never changes. So however they do it, however you see them attacking in mine, they will most likely be attacking the same way in yours. So make sure you keep an eye out. We're going to micro that marine out. Very clean micro. I like that one. Unfortunately, that Goliath got a little too hurt. And there we go. I like to personally wait on harvesting the Terrazine. But for this one, I'm going to immediately harvest the first canister on the left. That means there's one less Terrazine canister that they can seal off. Uh, going to put these marines and these Goliaths right here. Making sure that we always reinforce our troops and still keep an eye on that mineral uh, on our saturation. And going to get that plus one attack upgrade while I am there. Keep an eye on it. Making sure that we don't, as I said, you don't want to lose an SCV that is harvesting the Terrazine. You don't want to lose an SCV period because if you lose one, you will have to uh, restart the mission if you're trying to get that achievement. Making sure that we don't get uh, too behind on our supply. Going to grab these little relics. Uh, those relics are going to be for your uh, for your Protoss research. Just make sure that you go find them. I will grab all three of them. Um, if, if you don't know where they're at, just follow the guide and I'll, I'll show you where all, all three of them are at. Now again, if, you're having, if you are panicking and you just really feel like you cannot get to... Um, and you really feel like you just simply can't reach the Protoss in time, or if you just like attack man and you're just targeting everybody but the probe, remember to target the probe first. That that's the main thing. If you want to stop the Protoss from sealing off canisters, just stop the probe. You don't have to to kill every zealot or stalker or scout or void ray to be able to stop the Protoss. All you have to really do is focus down the probe. The probe is your main target. If you can stop the probe, you're good to go. You can micro away from the attack, get your bearings, and then go back out and uh, finish the Protoss off. It's completely... like The main focus that you should have is killing the probe. Now, there's another attack that happens on your base. Just make sure you keep an eye out on the game timer. I have that on for you guys uh, on purpose so you guys know exactly what's happening in the match. Uh, that way nothing's a surprise that way when you see your attack 
when 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 you see when I'm getting attacked, you're you're gonna have a feeling like okay, if I got if he got attacked at eight minutes, then I'm gonna get attacked at eight minutes roughly. If there's gonna be a terrazine canister being sealed off at about eight and a half, then I am going to assume that there's gonna be one right about the same time for me as well. So it's it's just a good guide for you guys to understand when I'm being attacked or when I'm doing something. Uh, it just make sure that you keep tabs on that because that's very very important stuff for you guys to to keep uh, to be paying attention to. Now going in, taking out this terrazine. Looks very, very close, but we'll get it perfectly on time. Gonna keep an eye on that supply. Again, another reactor down. Making sure... The only Marauders that you'll actually be using in this mission, uh, funny enough, is the uh, is the Marauders that you get from the Merc compound. Otherwise, you're gonna be using uh, Marines and Medics the in pretty much the entire time. After we uh, prevent that canister from being unsealed, we are going to... Grab the second, uh, the second research, the, sorry, the second relic, which is, of course, our second research point. If you're fast here, you could actually prevent the zealots from spawning in. I was, I was pretty slow. I, I actually kind of got upset, but right there is what you should have done, which is just kill the warp prism. That way, they wouldn't be able to warp in. Now, after you get that second uh, Protoss relic, you are going to be attacked by a few void rays. You have plenty of marines though, so don't even worry about it. Now, you are going to see another attack come in roughly around 1050-ish. This is where you're just going to want... If you have your troops split up, this is the point where you just do what I said and just stem up, send whatever troops you have, and just kill the probe. But in this one, I was, I was fairly lucky. A lot of... I was able to have a lot of my troops just sitting in base, so it was able. It was easy for me to be able to fight on two fronts. Otherwise, you normally just want to keep all your troops uh, together. Keep an eye on those mercs. We want to make sure we utilize those because they give us. Uh, they are a little stronger than their uh, than their counterpart. Keeping an eye out for a specific attack wave that I'm. I'm there's that attack wave that I'm talking about, which is that one with the psionic. Uh, with the, uh, the High Templar. There we go. I was very, very crappily microing on this one. I have a lot of medics. Holy crap, I should be building a lot more uh, Marines at this point. Um, but right now we are going to be going out on the offensive, clearing out the, uh, three canisters we see here at the, uh, like right next to our base still. Clearing out that area. Going to get our stuff, our guys all healed up. We have an attack right here. I'm trying to figure out if there was a way to go about this. I just decided, you know what? I'm going to need to clear out this Covenant. Uh, not the not the Covenant, sorry. The Protoss base here. And uh, I just kind of just... I, I was running low on time. Said, okay, let's go kill these, uh, these pylons. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to target down the probe right here. So if you ever feel like again you're you're behind on on an attack, and you you just are like really really close to getting uh, completely screwed over by some random probe, and you don't want any of those terrazine altars to be um, to be sealed, just remember target that probe. I'm gonna micro those guys back, get back in there on the attack. Remember to target down these uh, pylons. Trying to make sure that we get those pylons, uh, but kind of failed on on that. But at least those uh, photon cannons can't hurt us anymore, which is pretty nice. All right. Now, at a certain point, you will just grab three SCVs, go to each terrazine canister, and have like for me, I I just said screw it. I'm just gonna have three harvests. I don't care. I mean, I I, I had faith that my guys would be able to handle it, but. Just remember, doing three is very, very ballsy. It's it's very, very bold to do, especially when you're getting absolutely berated by psionic storms. Colossi, it's just not a very fun, um, not a very fun experience. Got a terrazine canister. As I'm having some some issues over here, it's kind of 
this like uh uh oh moment i didn't think that this was a very smart play by me but i mean this is another this is another one of those just like see it's not that bad but it is really that bad i just decided to say screw it stim everybody get there as fast as possible guys seeing if i can barely make it i just checking the time here oh i have plenty i saw my guys getting there on just target down the probe um unfortunately all my guys were low health there were no medics there to heal them <laughs> it was this is all very sloppy at this point but it's still gonna happen you're you're still gonna see the achievements get done like this just goes to show that you can have a sloppy run and still have a very um uh, and still get the achievements you can still basically do uh like beat the mission on brutal without having to be like some like god at 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 the game making sure that we clear out the i saw my scvs getting attacked there i was like uh no sir if if i saw that scv die it was gonna be a it was gonna be a sad day for me gonna clear out this uh, Protoss base here put down another supply depot making sure that we are being ahead of our supply and then we are going to get all the SUVs onto the Terrazine this Voidery is getting a little too strong but we were able to get it off on on time get that SCV out there Keeping on that SCV right here, because he's going to be the main one that they're going to try to attack. Rallying all my guys up to the front lines. That pro There's a huge Protoss base up towards the north, right at the opening where I'm getting attacked at by those Void Rays. You don't want to go up that ramp unless you just want to fight like a ton of high templars and colossi like that that's that's no good i microed a little too far back because i was afraid that the protoss would have targeted down my uh my scv but i got lucky and i i wasn't getting targeted down by uh, I, they, they weren't targeting me down very wisely but here we are uh pretty much at the end of the mission here and it's I, I do understand like this mission can be a lot to handle, uh, but it's really just about making sure that your marine like you find those choke points and you just repel the uh, the Protoss as as best as you can. Marines and medics are literally overpowered, but let's just check out the uh, post brief. Uh, we didn't lose any SCVs and we prevented every single attack. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.